today is one of those cold, rainy days in New York where it's not even that cold, but because it's so rainy, it just feels like it's very cold. First day back to work from the trip from Florida. Good to be back. I almost was like 30 seconds away from going into Brooklyn today. I have a meeting with a guy that's in Brooklyn today. We're gonna do it on Zoom, but like if it wasn't pouring rain out, I was gonna be in Brooklyn today getting some footage, getting some live videos, increasing the quality. Today we're doing something for the first time. Today we're doing something new for the first time. And it's funny, as much of a go-getter as I am, when we do something new, I can sometimes become very, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I can procrastinate a bit. So I just spent a good amount of time watching YouTube and TikToks and I need to just go try my new thing. Excited to get back to work. Have a, I'm gonna make a list right now of things that I wanna get done. For example, like I have new videos that I wanna film. I have a talking head video where it's like, you know, explaining why I'm doing less reaction videos. I do wanna film a couple of reaction videos, even though I'm talking about doing less of them. <laughs> and then we're gonna work on some more music. Me working on music today. Ow, that hurt. On a side note, we may or may not be having Jacob Restituto candles coming out looking like this. A little branding like this, like this. They may or may not be coming out. Wow, do you smell that? That smells so good. Well, you can't smell it obviously, but do you hear that crackling? Wow, do you see what this is right there? First of all, actually, I think that's my slowest growing month on YouTube in s over a year probably. And that is a day and 14 hours that is the longest I've gone without posting on YouTube in probably years as well. Like at least a year probably. So are you ready for this new thing that I'm testing out today? I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> as dumb as it sounds. Uh, but this is it. We are testing at Omegle for the first time. I really like the content that I see when artists or when, when, when content creators and musicians and, and whatever the genre they are, use Omegle and they talk to strangers and be like, hey, blah, 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 you wanna see a magic trick? Like, like stuff like that is really cool. And, and Or Harry Mack who does like, hey, can, can I rap for you? But I've always been freaked out with the fact that you're talking to strangers. Now, what making me feel slightly better right before the fact that I actually do this, uh, cause I'm gonna do it a little later, is the fact that there's two options. You have the, this video is monitored, keep it clean. But then down there, there's the unmoderated. And the fact that this video is monitored makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Cause I'm like, man, the internet's weird and people are weird. And I don't want to get into anything weird. So the fact that this is supposed to stay clean makes me feel so much better. And if they, I could steer very clear from that unmoderated section, please leave Omegle and visit an adult site if it, instead if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, okay, it makes me feel much better that this is not what they, like that they are talk, talking about the fact all over the place that they don't want it to be weird or anything like that. So I'm glad. I have so many ideas for videos, like asking strangers to rate my music, one video idea. Seeing if strangers can guess the next lyric to my song. Giving a concert to strangers, like all these different things. And then I wanna take all these and do them actually in person. I was actually planning on doing them in person today in, in the city, uh, setting up like a little stand in Times Square. <laughs> but uh, it's pouring right now, so we're gonna try Omega for the first time. I'm like nervous because I have no idea how it works, and I've always been like kind of weirded out by it. But it's time they just kind of slapped in the face and get over it, kind of thing. So now, before we hop on Omega <laughs> for the first time, <laughs> shoot, too funny. I have a Zoom meeting with a, uh, an old high school guy that I knew who was a friend for a while, and then we just haven't talked in years. But it's funny, it's really funny how life works because you never know who's watching your content because he reached out to me like a month ago maybe, and he was like, hey, I have some questions about vlogging equipment. You know, I, I have this, you know, company that he has and I want to vlog the experience of expanding the company and everything. Can, I, can you send me some information on the camera stuff and lenses and I don't know anything. I was, so I sent him all that, but it's that was like, oh wow, it's interesting that he knows that I vlog. That's interesting that he's seen the vlog and likes the quality that he wants advice. First of all, second of all, um, he, now he wants to start a podcast around businesses, business, which I, I love, I actually, I don't know if you know this, but December 2019, I started a podcast. I did one episode. I don't think I ever published it, but it was called the Long Island Business Podcast. And I wanted to meet as many Long Island business owners as I could, talk with them, hear their stories. But I wanted to be the host of the party, if that makes sense. Because if, if that thing took off, then any business owner would want to be on my pad podcast and I'd have the upper hand with the business. But I, but like now it's not so much that important to me because like I, my eyes are set on, on like just, and even back then, but it was just still just an idea of content. 
um, my eyes were set so much bigger than just Long Island. You know what I mean? I want so much more than that. Point being, he wants to start a podcast and somebody, a friend of ours recommended that they talk to me. And it was just interesting it's saying like, you know, that my name's circulating around it. It's kind of cool. Details and because it's a relatively new company. There's... All right. I just wrapped up the Zoom call. I had lunch with Jamie. Now we're going to go and test out Omega for the rest for our stuff. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I, I like, I just... I don't know. It's kind of, I have no idea. Actually, before we do that, we are going to make the clipped version. So it's going to be one that's going to automatically stop right before the way the lyric is, and then one that plays the full version of the lyric. All right, here we go. I'm just, like, I don't know why I'm thinking nervous. Should I do uh, interest in music? Let's try. Let's try this. My heart rate is beat. I don't know why I'm nervous to do this, man. Dude. I just had the most insane experience on Omegle. I've had two really good conversations, two of them were really cool so far. The second person that I played my music for guessed the song, they, they, they knew the song, they were like, that's Nightlife by Jacob Restituto. What? They, they knew, they knew my music, they watched my YouTube channel, there's these two people one guy and his friend and the friend watches the youtube like that's crazy that's the crazy. i think the one of the craziest things that's ever happened that's insane what are the, that's crazy oh man the other guy was mad cool too like he followed me on instagram like this is this is cool i mean there's definitely some kind of sketchier stuff but like you kind of just skip past it really quick this is cool all right so i just wrapped up probably over an a little over an hour on omegle um, there's definitely some whack stuff on there, but for the most part, for the most part, when you actually get somebody, they like it's really cool and they're really fun. You just have to have your hand over the skip because people are whack. <laughs> but it was fun, and honestly, bro, the having the YouTube thing and like I didn't even think of this. It's just part of my setup right now. But having that in the background holds a lot of weight. People like immediately see it. They're like, "Are you a YouTuber? Like, am I on a YouTube video right now?" And like that holds a lot of it's actually really helpful um which is part of the reason i want to get verified on instagram because it just holds weight in the sense of like people like take you a little bit more serious but alas i'm like i could have sworn i saw somebody that looked very very much like maury set but we we they we skipped really quickly between each other i could have sworn i don't know but um really cool still blown away that the person knew my song that was wild um, now I just got to figure out how I want to edit the videos. I don't, I don't know how I want to do it yet. Um, but I have a lot of footage, probably, probably about 20 minutes worth of actual footage. So I just got to figure out how to ed actually edit it. Marvin, mad shout out to Marvin for fun of the dream for 13 months. You. So I just got off a live stream where I was working on rewriting the songs. And I gotta say, first of all, my eyeballs are, <laughs> they look like a, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I was crying. My eyes are just super, super, super like dry. Like it feels like my contacts like need to be changed. Actually, I, I need to do that. Actually, that reminds me. <laughs> it sounds like I'm, it looks like I'm about to cry while I'm telling you. I was surprised though at how not interested people were in the version of uh, me redoing the songs. I was just I'm surprised about that. Um, but look at this thumbnail from <laughs> earlier in the video today.